All right. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. So. <laughs> Jess, my best friend and soon to be wife. You're an amazing woman that I grow to love more each and every day. You are hardworking and dedicated, and I appreciate everything you do for us. Okay. <laughs> Over the last nine years, we've been through a lot. From the carefree days of school when we first met. <laughs> to seeing each other only a couple times a month as we did long distance. Moving in together and then buying a house and making a home. To standing here today where we will proclaim our love and commitment to each other in front of our friends and family. Through happy times and sad times, there's one constant. You are always there. I'm so happy today. I get to see my big brother happier than he's ever been. Nick and Jess met at New Hampshire's most prestigious and only state college, Keene. But Jess and Nick got more out of Keene than just diplomas. They came out with the loves of their lives. So the first night we met in college, our two friends really wanted to set us up. It was cool, but we were kind of near the end of the school year. And then we didn't actually rekindle until the semester after. It was like one of the first nights back. Chaotic basement party, hot, sweaty. And then he texted me later that night and said he wanted to catch up and talk. And then he finally asked me to go on our first date. I think we, you know, went official probably about two weeks after that. We just got along so well. He truly is my best friend. Jess, you truly became the sister I've always wanted and needed. There's always been one constant with the crazy friendship of Bubbly and Fruit Loop, Mr. Nicholas Lorenzo. The love you have for one another is truly inspiring. Thanks for letting me hang around to witness it. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> a couple months after we started dating, I drove to New York around Christmas time and Nick really wanted to show me around. We took the train into Manhattan, saw the tree. She met my parents, my parents loved her. His mom literally opened her arms and gave me the biggest, warmest hug. It was just great to spend time with each other. started coming over, we had a dog named Beamer. A very friendly dog, he liked everybody, but he loved Jess. I'm pretty sure he thought she was his girlfriend. <laughs> Before they knew it, four and a half years had gone by. Nick driving up after he graduated so he could visit Jess. Jess moving home to finish her test to become a nurse. We were both at our parents' houses for two years. So that was about, you know, three, three and a half hours in between us. So it was really tough for us, but we knew we always wanted to be together. So we made it work. We saw each other every other weekend. And then the time came to make a decision. Where are we gonna move? <laughs> Instead of forcing the mass girl to move to New York, or the New York boy to move to Massachusetts, <laughs> they settled on the middle ground of Connecticut and the aptly named Middletown. Falling fast, no, are you falling too? I can't imagine this life without you. 
Throughout all of our challenging years at vlog distance, our love has only grown stronger. We moved to a different state, made a beautiful house into a home. I can't wait to start a family with you there. Puppy first, of course. I knew you were special from the first day I met you. Who knew a simple text could have changed our lives forever? Nicholas, my honey, my very best friend. I can't believe this day is finally here. A day I've been dreaming about my whole life. But what makes it a dream is actually marrying you. I love your smile, the way you make me laugh. You're the most supportive, passionate, and best cook that I could have ever asked for. I feel so blessed to not only know you, but to be loved by you. I stated today that this union has been a long time coming. Yet counting the years in which their bond has strengthened and grown is not what I'm referring to. What has felt so long-winded about their match is that from the first weeks that I and everyone else has known them and seen you together, we knew that you were a match for life. You two have been an old Italian-Portuguese married couple for nine years. So thank the good Lord, the moment is finally here. I promise to work hard on our marriage. I promise to be patient with you. I promise to be supportive of you and your choices you make and to push you to be the best you can be. I promise to love you through it all. The good, the bad, wherever life takes us. I promise to always be by your side. I promise to be patient with you, challenge you, and be your biggest fan. I promise to keep you fed after your long shifts at work <laughs> so you're not living off of scrambled eggs. <laughs> I promise to care for you and make sure you're safe and happy. I promise to love you with my whole heart from this day until the end of my days. I love you so much. I promise to cherish you for the rest of our lives. Nicholas, you truly are my best friend, and I love you very much. And I can't wait to be your wife, and officially, the Lorenzos. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Allow me to present for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo. Yeah.